Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan Battle video. So today, as promised, we are back with a comprehensive guide on how to fully awaken the Fizz LR Great Sandman 1 and 2 from start to finish, and eventually Extreme Z awaken them when the Extreme Z area event drops on Global in about two weeks from the time this video comes out. Now, the first thing I'll say before we jump into it is that this is going to be a fairly long and painful process, so I do recommend that you break it up into multiple sessions just to maintain your sanity, okay? And with that said, let's get it started. Now, the first thing you want to do is head over to the friend summon banner and do a bunch of multi summons until you eventually get at least 14 copies of the... Uh, SR Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. Now this is assuming that you plan to use Kai's when you get them to LR status to get them from Super Attack 10 to Super Attack 20 and also for the Extreme Z Awakening for Super Attack levels 20 to 25. But if you don't want to use any other Kai's for the entire process, then you actually want to go for 29 copies of the Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. And obviously, this will take a long time. It's also gonna be far, far more painful than just using Kai's, but of course, the choice is up to you. Now, assuming that you will be using Kai's, then get your 14 copies of the SR, lock one of them to be used as your main copy that you will be awakening to an LR, and then feed in nine of the other copies to get them to Super Attack 10. And at this point, you should have one copy at Super Attack 10, and then four other additional copies at Super Attack 1. And the next step is to Dokkan Awaken all five of them. And the reason you need to do that is so that you can feed in your four Super Attack 1 copies into the hidden potential system of your main Super Attack 10 copy. So as you can see here, it says that you need one of each of these medals to Dokkan Awaken one copy, which means that you will need five of each medal to Dokkan Awaken all five copies, right? So these medals are available from the Hero Extermination Plan Evil Power Strike Back event. And to save us some time, I decided to write on this notepad the uh, stage you can get each medal. So for the Piccolo medal, that's available from stage 17. For the Goku medal, you can get that from stage nine. The Vegeta medal is from stage 12. The Gohan medal is from stage 13. And finally, the Kaioken Goku medal is from stage 8. So once again, that's 17 for the Piccolo, 9 for the Goku, 12 for the Vegeta, 13 for the Gohan, and finally, 8 for the Kaioken Goku. Five of each medal. Dokkan Awaken all of them into this version of uh, Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. And from there, you want to... Z awaken your main Super Attack 10 copy to a UR, and then you can feed in the four Super Attack 1 copies into the hidden potential system, and then give them the orbs to get them to 100% or rainbowed, right? So now you should have a Super Attack 10 uh, UR rainbowed Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2. The next step is, of course, to Dokkan awaken them into their TUR status, which is this right here and you will need three of each of these medals, which are also from the Hero Extermination Plan Evil Powers Strike Back event. So uh, let's see. This Goku medal is from stage 19. This Vegeta medal is from stage 18. The Trunks medal is from stage 22. This Gohan medal is from stage 23. And finally, this Boo medal is from stage 21. So once again, Goku, Stage 19, Vegeta 18, Trunks 22, Gohan 23, and Buu 21. Three of each medal might take you a while, but once you have those, then you can token awaken your Great Saiyan Man 1 and 2 to the TUR status. And finally, in order to awaken them from TUR to LR, you will need five of each of these medals, which are available from the... Hero Extermination Plan Evil Power Strike Back event, but also just the regular Hero Extermination Plan event, which is this one. So, from this stage, you can get the Majin Vegeta medal, this Buu medal, and also the Hachiyak medal, which you don't need here. And then the remaining medals are still from the 
Evil Power Strike Back event. So, starting with the uh, Majin Vegeta medal, you can get that from stage 22 of the Hero Extermination Plan event. And then for the Boo medal, you can get that from stage 23 of the same event. And then go back to the Evil Power Strike Back event to get the GT Goku medal, which is from stage 24. The uh, Saiyaman 1 and 2 medals are actually both from stage 15. So these two are from the Hero Extermination Plan event, and these three are from the Evil Powers Strike Back event. These two are stages 22 and 23 respectively. And then GT Goku is stage 24, and Saiyaman 1 and 2 are stage 15. So get five of each of these medals, and then you can Dokken Awaken your TUR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2, finally, into LR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2. So at this point, of course, you have a rainbowed Super Attack 10 LR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2. You definitely want to get them to Super Attack 20, and you have two choices. Number one, you can use Elder Kai's, keep it simple, feed the Kai's in, and you're good to go. Or you can take the harder route, although of course you are saving Kai's, but the much harder, much more time-consuming option would be to Dokken Awaken a second LR Great Saiyan at 1 and 2 at Super Attack 10. But of course, this one, you don't have to uh, give them any hidden potential uh, investment, any orbs, or any additional copies. You just have to get 1 to Super Attack 10 at 0%, and then you can feed in this additional copy into your main copy that's rainbowed to get them to Super Attack 20 for free. Now, regardless of what you decided to do, you should now have a rainbowed Super Attack 20 LR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2 in your possession. And that's really all you can do right now because we don't have the Extreme Z area available to us yet. But once the Extreme Z area event comes out, then you will be able to acquire the Extreme Z Awakening medals to fully Extreme Z Awaken your LR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2. In total, you need 45 medals to perform all three steps, and there of course is a restriction in terms of who you can bring on your team to challenge the event, and this is the full pool of characters you're allowed to bring. You can do any combination of these characters, but it has to be only units from this pool, and they all need to be fully Extreme Z Awakened, and these units are available, or rather the Extreme Z Awakenings are available from the Hero Extermination Plan Extreme Z Area event. As you can see, all of the units from that pool are the ones that can be Extreme Z Awakened from this event. And if you guys haven't Extreme Z Awakened any of these units yet, then the Extreme Z Awakening process will be uh, quite difficult for you because you have to first Extreme Z Awaken at least six units from this event, and then head over to the uh, LR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2 Extreme Z Area event to get the Extreme Z Awakening medals there. So this is the pool of characters that can be used for the Hero Extermination Plan, Extreme Z Area. It's essentially all the units that can be Extreme Z Awakened here, plus the AGL Whis and the Fizz Hatchiak, which you need to have. And these guys are also available from the Hero Extermination Plan uh, event. So basically, Choose six of these units, Extreme Z Awaken them, make a team that you can use for this Extreme Z area event, get your 45 medals, and then use them to fully Extreme Z Awaken your LR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2 by performing all three steps, get them to Super Attack 25 by either using Kai's or farming a third copy of LR Great Saiyaman 1 and 2 at Super Attack 5 and then feed it in it's totally up to you. Like I said, one option is much more painful and takes much, much longer. And then the other option uses some Kai's, but I think it's ultimately worth it to save you the headache and uh, just the time, you know? So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That is the full process, the full guide for how to get your LR Great Sandman 1 and 2 done from start to finish. And the last thing we're going to talk about is exactly what these guys do after the Extreme Z Awakening to help you decide whether or not this whole thing is actually worth it. So their leader skill is Super Type Allies Key Plus 3, HP Attack and Defense plus 130% when team includes all 5 Super Types. Super Attack 12 Key raises Attack and Defense for 1 turn and causes colossal damage, 
and seals the super attack. And then the A Tinky Super raises attack and defense for one turn, causes Mega Colossal damage, and raises Super Class Allies attack by 30% for two turns. Passive is attack and defense plus 70%, Super Class Allies keep plus 4, and defense plus 40%, plus an additional attack plus 58%, and launches an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack when attacking extreme class enemies. Finally, extreme class enemies defense minus 70%. Links are Hero of Justice, Patrol, Signature Pose, Infighter, Supreme Power, Shattering the Limit, and Legendary Power. And categories are Majin Buu Saga, Joint Forces, Movie Heroes, Special Pose, and Defenders of Justice. And there you have it guys, that is the Easy A Biz LR Great Sandman 1 and 2. Um, are they worth the grind? I mean, it's a free to play LR, it's something to do, and in my opinion, they are one of the best super class supports in the entire game, and they can also now do some decent damage because of the Extreme Z Awakening, so I think it's definitely worth doing if you guys uh, have the patience, if you guys have the time, especially during those dry spells in the game where there's just nothing happening, right? So. Uh, that's your guide guys. That is going to be today's video. Hopefully it helped you at least a little bit. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.